guys, Mama Mira. And tonight I want to show you how to make one of my favorite things, and that is risotto. Oh, I love risotto. Oh, yes. Especially with white wine and mushrooms in it. And tonight I'm using the Bella mushroom. Mm. And I'm using the one of the rice that you want to use is you want to use the arborio rice. That's this one here. Okay. And then I had my own chicken broth, but if you don't have your own chicken broth, then you could use this type of chicken broth, okay? And I usually just use one teaspoon to a cup. And now the broth is going to be four cups of broth to one and a half cups of the abario rice, okay? Okay. So we are making the risotto rice. All right, so now that, okay, so I've got my rice already measured out okay in the pan and we're doing this in the oven so by doing this in the oven raise this up a little bit by doing this in the oven that means it's going to be easier and faster for you you're not standing over the stove and and mixing and stirring and mixing and stirring and when you've got like a wedding and you're doing like maybe 200 and something people 300 people you can't not be doing that at the stove that that's just that's just too time consuming hey that's pretty good oven and so I'm showing you how to do it now this here probably would be a serving size of probably about maybe say six people you know depending on how much they like <laughs> in my case it's good <laughs> it don't go very far <laughs> oh geez I need to lose some weight I know it but you know what this is one of my favorite things to do okay let me see if I can get this camera to raise up a little bit boy geez okay so hopefully that's a little better now. Okay, so now my broth is boiling and I've already got the cup and a half of the abario rice in here. So I'm just gonna turn that broth off. Okay, stir it. And I'm, this is, this, you, this is just incredibly easy. And then I'm just gonna pour it into the pan. I'm not gonna pour all of the broth I usually leave about a cup, half, a, at least three fourths of a cup, not poured into the pan. And then I stir that in, that broth in. Can I see if you can get that in? That's a, see that, that? That's what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. So now, once that's stirred around and you want that broth hot, do not put the broth cold. Don't do that. That's all you're going to do. Okay? That's it. Now you're gonna put the, the aluminum foil lid on it. All I'm gonna do now at this point is I'm gonna put the aluminum foil. You see, I got a little bit of broth left in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aluminum foil over the pan just like that. Tight, really tight. So now if you're doing these chafing pans and like you got maybe say 10 chafing pans for the wedding of the risotto and stuff, you want to make sure that you that all of these foils, the foil is down on top of that really tight because that's going to block that in, that steam. And that's what's going to go. And you're not standing here doing this and add a little bit and stirring and then add a little bit and stirring. No, 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 you're not doing that. You're just going to, now you're going to put it straight into the oven. So I'm going to put that in the oven at 350 and I'm going to check it like in 30 minutes. It won't, it won't take it long. But if you was doing this at the stove, it would be a lot of work. I've done it before at the stove, but I'm like, no, no, I can't do that one. That's just too much. Okay, so now it's in the oven. And so the next thing you would want to do, okay. So then you're gonna take your shallows and you're gonna take and chop them up. And I'm using a little bit of green onion with that because I had a little, one little piece of green onion. I'm not throwing it away. So I'm doing the green onion and I'm using, I'm not using the shallows, I'm using the, um, the yellow onion. The yellow onion's sweet, okay? So it'll be fine, okay? And then you chop those up really fine and you're gonna put them with a little bit of butter and you're gonna put your mushrooms. And you're gonna pan 
um, simmer those together, okay? Just all together for about, you know, say maybe like, I don't know, like maybe eight minutes. Just to the point, you know, where it's starting to like, you know, smell and, it, and it, you can see that it's cooking down and the mushrooms are starting to like uh, form like a little uh, broth. So let me get my little frying pan out and I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so now I've got the butter in the pan. I put about two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to take about maybe say a tablespoon or two tablespoons, well, maybe two tablespoons of olive oil. And heat that up okay. and sometimes I chop a little parsley into it also just to make it look colorful okay but this time I got the green onions you know you learn to do substitutes this day and time a lot of times I'm doing a lot of substitutes because some things are just really very pricey and so the substitutes sometimes work out really well some sub substitutes work out so well that you learn to use them all the time. <laughs> Are you serious? They actually taste better. The substitutes sometimes taste better, taste better than the real thing. <laughs> hey, we save money now. <laughs> okay, so now at that point, can you see that? There we go. All right. So you're going to let that simmer up. Okay. And then I'm going to throw some of the, I'm not going to use all the mushrooms because I've got another dish this week and these are baby bellas. And so, you know, I'm trying to cut the cost down a little bit. So I'm going to use less. I'm not going to use a lot and that's okay. You know, I just want to use some of it because I've got, um, I've got a beef wellington that I'm doing. And so I need the mushrooms for that. <laughs> I know, isn't that awful? I'm being cheap with food now. <laughs> okay. So you let that cook down and put that down on low and just because the uh, risotto won't be coming out for another 25 minutes. I got to make sure I put that timer on. Boy. Okay, so we got the timer going. All right, so now, okay, all right. So now at this point, okay, that's going. And they'll turn like kind of brown, a little bit darker brown. Tastes really good though when they're like that. And then the last thing you will do with this is once when they get to be like brown and your onions, you know, it's all blending together and looking pretty good. Then you're going to put a little bit of white wine, just cheap wine, okay? Don't go out and buy a big fancy bottle. We're going to have, no, 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 no. Cheap wine, even leftover wine. <laughs> Got some champagne hidden. Pull the champagne. You just want it to have that taste because you could use champagne. You could use Chardonnay. You could use whatever white wine you got. Oh, my God. Wow! Don't worry about it. It'll still taste good. And this is a really a good dish. And I like it. I put it in my refrigerator and I freeze it. You know, I bring it out and it tastes just perfectly fine to me. Okay. So we're going to let that keep cooking. All right. I'm going to turn the camera off. And so we'll give that time to cook. And then we'll, I'll bring you back for the critical part of the mixing of it all. It's just super easy. You're just going to be like, oh my God, that's how they make it. It is so easy and they charge so much at the restaurant. You don't need that. <laughs> okay, so I pulled the risotto out of the oven now and I'm ready to check and see how it, how it is, if it's done or not, right? Okay, and then we're going to add the other ingredients and we're going to stir it really roughly, really quick. And that will be it. That's simple. <laughs> okay, so hold it on here. Okay, so now at this point, you can see how that came out. All right, so now I'm going to take a little bit of wine. Not much, a little bit though. Okay, and then I'm going to add that and try to get as much of that broth up off or that browning up off of the frying pan there. And 
That looks pretty good. Smells good too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, let's take the spatula and we're going to open up the foil area. Let me move that down here a little bit closer. There we go. All right. So you see that? Ooh. Well, be very careful you don't burn your fingers. Now, I didn't add any salt. If you notice, I didn't add any salt. And the reason being I didn't add any salt is because the chicken broth that I made, I used um, chicken that was rotisserie chicken. I just took the bones and stuff. So there might have been a little bit of salt in there, and I don't want to overdo it with the salt. But you can put the salt as you need it, the salt and the pepper. Okay. Okay. That looks good. So I would say 25 to 30 minutes, you want to test this to make sure that, you know, it don't dry out too much. You want to just watch that because you don't want it to be dry. But you also have that little bit of broth left there too. Okay, so now I'm going to take that stuff here that's in the frying pan and I'm going to scrape that all off into the risotto rice. There we go. Other way so you can see that a little better. Let me move that down a little closer for you. Okay, there you go. So now you see how I've got that? So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna add one cup of Parmesan, shredded Parmesan cheese. And I'm just gonna stir it up. The cheese is gonna start to uh, melt and it's gonna start putting that rice kind of together. Smells really good. Mm -hmm. So now if I thought it was a little dry, I could add a little bit of that broth, uh, the chicken broth, but I don't think I need to add any more. Sometimes that happens. But you got the method of how you can make this really easy. So like you got to say you have 24 people coming over for um, dinner, you know, you would just do one whole chafing pan of, um, of this risotto in your oven that quick, that fast. No standing up to the hot stove and slowly adding a little bit and stirring that till it dissolves and then coming back and adding more broth and stirring that. Oh, no, no, no. You eliminate all of that stuff. Yeah, we ain't doing that. That's just too much work. Okay. Now look at that. See how the cheese is in that? And you can certainly add more mushrooms if you want. You can add even a little bit more wine if you want. So, there we go. And it's finished. And, you know, you put it in a dish and maybe sprinkle some uh, parsley on top. And you could maybe, maybe even uh, saute some more mushrooms and spread them on top, too, if you want it. Or sprinkle some green onions to decorate it. This is such a nice dish. It's a hearty dish, you know, for uh, parties. You could do it Christmas. You could do it Thanksgiving. Excellent for Thanksgiving, you know. So, there you go. Now, let me get a spoon and see how that is. Okay. Sure it <laughs> I like Italian food. <laughs> I think I like Italian food ever since we lived in Houston. We used to go down to Westheimer and we used to have those cappuccinos down there. That was the first time when I was a young girl, very young, and, and it's the first time I ever had anything like that. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is just, this is incredible. And then <laughs> the funniest thing happened, we used to have a parts house and I had to run it at a very young age because at that time, uh, my husband then, he was running another business. And so I got stuck at the parts house and I didn't know anything about parts and stuff, but I sure had to learn quick. Oh, I learned it real fast. I got so good at it with those cherry bomb muffers. I sold so many of them. We won us a trip to where? Italy. <laughs> and I had never been out of Houston except by car to, Gal uh, to uh, 
to Los Angeles to go to Disneyland <laughs> or to maybe Arkansas, but that was it. But I got first time I ever flew on a plane was all the way to Italy, Rome, and Paris. Well, boy, that cherry bomb muffer sure paid off for me. <laughs> okay, let's see how this is. Mm. Oh my God. That's very good. Nice. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, that's fine for me. However, other people might want a teeny bit more like salt. Maybe add a little bit salt to it. But see, I can't because I have hypertension, so I have to really watch that. And because the butter, you know, I'm using a little bit of salty butter, so I have to I have to add all those things and be careful to watch that stuff. But it's really good. Mm -hmm, mm. So I'm gonna pack this up and guess what? So I'm gonna save it. Some of it's going to the freezer so I can have it for lunchtime and stuff, and the rest of it I'll probably have tomorrow night. <laughs> okay guys. There you go, the risotto, uh, mushroom risotto with um, white wine. It's a done deal. It tastes just really good. Anyway, you guys, if you like my video tonight, uh, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. And thank you very much for watching my YouTube channel today or tonight. And I am really appreciate everybody, all the kind words that you guys give all the time on my videos. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Good night. Bye.